All right, so I printed this check valve as a piece of a ventilator. Um, check out my other videos on my ideas around building a ventilator and what might go into it. Um, check the links below for um, open source ventilator projects that people are working on all over the world right now, many smarter people than me, if you are interested in that project. This video is about uh, just how this check valve works and how you can print it and um, how to find the files. So real quick, um, this is two 3D printed pieces. You can unscrew them. Right now I'm using uh, plumber's Teflon tape to keep these, to keep these threads sealed. Um, the tape has to go up against this little uh, lip here uh, to seal tightly. They work great. Um, if you can't get your hands on plumber's tape, you may be able to do this with some saran wrap or even a plastic bag. Speaking of a plastic bag, the diaphragm on this check valve is just a piece of a Walmart bag. I think it's important that we use food safe materials. I don't know that um, you know they're necessarily medically breathing safe, but I think in an emergency situation, food safe is easy enough. So um, the eventual version of this thing will be made with a Ziploc food bag, but um, same deal really, a piece of PET or something like that. Um, anyway, it's just a circle cut out from a bag and then one M3 hex screw. I think this one's about six millimeters long, but anything that's uh, four millimeters all the way to, you know, 20 millimeters will do, uh, so long as you seat it against the bottom of the valve. Um, so if you peel this guy back, there's a bunch of holes here um, in the face of this guy. And basically, um, when I breathe out, it blows the membrane out. And when I breathe in, sucks the membrane against the flat surface and closes all of the ports. Um, it's really important that when you print this file, you print um, this surface against the print bed so that it can be nice and smooth. It's really important also that you print it against a clean glass print bed. No uh, masking tape or don't use a textured bed. Don't use uh, glue sticks. Just use a perfectly clean glass bed. Uh, maybe with some hairspray to get the smooth finish, which is really important to make this air tight on the inhale stroke. This piece needs to be printed um, actually uh, counterintuitively with this side down. Um, there's a lip here which has a little bit to do with the geometry of the way things come off the printer. Um, I couldn't make a square lip here to compress um, a sealing material, so this needed to be angled, so this needed to be angled, uh, which meant putting this on the printer this way didn't give it enough of a contact patch. Anyway, it prints just fine like this. Um, and again, these guys just screw together um, pretty easily, make sure they're tightened down. If these are screwed together, um, you should be able to blow one way and not blow the other. But you can suck this way, and you can't blow reverse on this side. Designed this to be printed as fast as possible um, with no trimming or any handwork afterwards like some of my cameras. Um, this has a look that just would not print very nicely on the bed, but it prints just fine like this. So the way I like to print these uh, so far, and certainly you can make more durable ones, but I think these are plenty durable. Um, what's important here is speed and cheapness. Um, these are printed with three shell layers on the top the bottom and the walls. They're printed at 10% infill. Um, and that's basically what you need to know. You don't need any support material. Um, so this one on the bed like this, this one on the bed like this. Um, this screw is an M3 hex screw. Uh, it's self-tapping um, into PLA. Um, I think PLA is pretty good. It's relatively food safe, although not cleanable in the way I would like because of the ridges. Um, but I think this would do as sort of a disposable piece of a ventilator. Okay, so um, check out the links in the description below. You can see my uh, Onshape account for COVID-19 parts. Um, feel free to start yourself an Onshape account, um, figure out how to draft an Onshape if you're used to SolidWorks, uh, which I am, or just uh, 
download the SolidWorks files and bring them into SolidWorks and you can change them around or just download the STLs and print them. Um, I'm really excited to see what other pieces of a ventilator you guys might build and the way you might use this check valve to do so. Um, thanks very much. Y'all have a nice night.